got another delivery. This time it's from Shein and it's not all crafts. <laughs> Welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland. My name's Fiona and I've got another haul for you. This time it is from Shein and the reason that I ordered is because it's coming into the better weather and it's no secret that I've gained a lot of weight over the last year so most of my t-shirts and things don't fit me anymore. I have bought bigger jeans and jeggings jeggin and joggers and things over the last wee while but I haven't bought any tops so I thought it was time to admit defeat and um, buy some bigger tops. So I had a look in like Asda and things and there was nothing appealing to me and of course prices. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get from Shein and we'll see. I don't think, I can't remember if I've ever had clothes from Shein or if it's only ever been for the girls. I can't remember. Anyway, we'll see what they're like. We will see if they fit. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you everything and I will try them on and put a clip in of me trying them on while I am tracking. There might be a couple of craft bits in here. I can't remember. Ooh, we've got bags and bags. I will put all the prices on the screen as well. Oh, I like the colour. That is lovely. And a lot of the tops that I got are just plain so that I can put my own slogan or um, pictures or anything on them. So it just looks like a normal t-shirt, but it's got the little tie down in the left hand corner. Um, you might not see much of details like that with me being in the chair, but I know they're there. And it looks an okay size. It might be a bit on the neat side. You can never tell with sizes and things when you're looking online. That's why I don't normally do clothes online but we'll give it a go we'll see she and they're easy enough to return so it's not a big issue if they don't fit um but i think it was pretty much the biggest size that i got in everything no there was maybe a size up anyway i think it's a bit tight just now but i'm going to keep it and try to slim into it because i do love the color and i like the style Okay, what have we got now? Excuse the dog's barking, Jack's out the front, so it's driving them mad. Got black, can't go wrong with black, can you? Oh, it's strange material. Can you see it's that kind of shiny material? Ah, it's just a plain, a plain black top, I think. That one should be big enough. Has it got wee detail at the side? Nope, it's just the way it's made. So yeah, plain black, so I will put something on that. You know what I'm like, I like to have something different to do. I haven't made myself a slogan or anything on a t-shirt for ages, so that'll be quite good. Excuse the old joggers, I've been playing with resin. <laughs> yeah, I quite like this one. It's nice and loose and comfy. Next one. Oh, I like the colours again. I did try it, although I was going for plain, I tried to get something with a little bit of style so this one is two tones so you've got the the green diagonal and the grey it's quite see-through I think which means it will be nice and light um, and it's a cold shoulder one as well so it will be interesting to see again it looks like an okay size hopefully I'll get my body into that I think they're all um, what size does it say? Extra large. And I'm sure that was like supposed to be like a 16 to 18. So we will see, we will see. It looked nice in the picture when the model was wearing it, but the model was not obviously not my size. I have to say, I didn't go to the curvy bit, I don't think. No, I don't think I did. I think it was just a normal bit. Let's be fair, it was probably clearance that I looked at. Oh, right. It does show quite a lot of lumps and bumps from the side, but I think I like it. I love the style, so I'm going to keep it. Yeah, this is extra large as well. I just spotted that. 
oh it's another one of the sort of shiny material but look at the colour it's like a right dark green and it, again it's just plain just a plain t-shirt and I will put something on that that will definitely fit that would probably fit Granny Annie actually but the prices were just good and I'm as well getting plain and that way I can put what I want on them whereas there was a lot of them and I thought ha it's quite a good slogan then I thought it's not perfect I could do better <laughs> keeps me happy Very similar to the black, nice and loose, comfortable, and I love the colour. That is a keeper. This looks like another two-tone one. Don't think I've ordered two of the same. Similar idea, it's still, it's got one cold shoulder, and it's mostly green, just with the grey diagonal along the bottom. That's nice. That was an extra large as well. So the ones like that I probably won't put anything on, but the plain ones I definitely will. Need to watch my vlogs to find out what I put on them. <laughs> I wouldn't do a video just about that, but if I'm wearing one of them, I'll let you see it. It's lovely at first, and then look at that. Way too tight. Look at the spare tyre. That'll be a no. <laughs> Looks like this is the last top, and then I think there's only one wee craft thing in there. That's not like me, is it? Oh, there's a lot of this one. Oh, I like it. So rather than a t-shirt, it's a long sleeve t-shirt. And whoops, it has got the check heart detail on the front. It's got the, oh, I really like that. It's just a round neck and the shoulders of the sleeves match the hearts. And it's just a long sleeve, plain at the bottom. That looks lovely, so that would be perfect for the slightly chillier days. It's certainly not thick enough to be a jumper, but it's a sort of, um, just a long sleeve sort of t-shirt. So, yay! Yeah, I think I like this one. It's relatively loose, it's comfortable. Yep, that's a keeper. You will be able to know by now whether they fit me or not. I don't. <laughs> and you'll be able to tell by my face whether I like it or not. Oh, two craft things and they're both moulds. Let's have a look. Oh my god, I've done it again. I think these are the same moulds that I just opened from Timu just this morning when I did my haul. Be interesting to compare the prices of them actually. I'll put the price comparison on the screen. It's not a problem having two of the same mould because it means you can make more at a time. And it's the little signs. One says Merry Christmas and one says North Pole. And they'll be really good either inside uh, Christmas tree baubles or just making little snow scenes, that sort of thing. How typical is that? It's the same but different. Exactly the same mould, just different silicon. The other one this morning was beige and this one's pink. So typical. And finally, oh, I like this one. Again, I forgot what I'd ordered. It actually took a wee while to come this time. She and I've been getting a lot better on their delivery. It's been a lot quicker. Look, it's Santa. Any sleigh being pulled by reindeer. Yay! That is a mega theme of mine this year because I just love it. That to me is Christmas. That is the embodiment of Christmas. Santa being pulled by his reindeer. And we've got a couple of little snowflakes in there as well. And he's got his sack in the back of the sleigh. Yay! It looks like there's quite a lot of detail on the, the deer as well. That's going to be fab. I'm looking forward to that. Yay! So that is everything. That is everything from Machine Haul. Um, I will have given you an indication when I've tried things on of yay, I'm keeping it, or no, I'm not keeping it, or hmm, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> so anyway, 
I hope you've enjoyed this. If so, please do hit the thumbs up button. Talk to me in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in our next one. Thanks everyone. Bye.